in the last lecture we have seen uh, a position of one reaction that is n i plus 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 2 e in pH potential pH diagram and there we have seen that let me draw the potential pH diagram which is nothing but the pore bix diagram. Pore bix diagram it is basically nothing but potential versus pH and the relative position of all the species that are forming in H 2 O that can be graphically represented with E versus pH diagram which is nothing but the poor Biggs diagram. Poor Biggs diagram here E is nothing but the reduction potential and we will place all the reduction all the potential in the form of reduction potential. Now, we have noted 8 reactions and we have also come to know their chemical potential standard chemical potential of those species ionic as well as the reaction product. Let us say ionic species for example, mu 0 of N i plus plus mu 0 of mu 0 of H plus or product phase let us say mu 0 of N i O H whole 2 all those things we have noted. Now, the reaction number 1 which is N i plus 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 2 e equal goes to N i this reaction reduction reaction we have also seen that it can be placed in potential versus pH diagram and for a particular ionic concentration because this reaction is a potential dependent pH independent because there is nowhere we have H plus ion. So, this can be related can be expressed in the form of Norst equation which is N i plus plus N i equal to E 0 N i plus plus N i plus R T N f N f here are 2 electron 2 f L n N i plus plus concentration of N i or activity of N i. So, here N i is 1 because it is a pure metal. Now, this one we can consider it as 1, you can consider this 10 to the minus 2, you can consider it to the minus 4. So, we have seen with the help of standard chemical potential data that this is coming close to 0 0.24 volt minus. Now, this is when N i plus plus ion activity is 1. Now, if you change the N i plus plus ion activity to N i to 10 to the power minus 2, it will go down like that as you decrease the concentration of N i plus plus this line will go down. Now, we have already seen the position of N i and N i plus plus, we have seen that position of N i would be below this line and position of N i plus plus would be N i plus plus, this is the position of N i plus plus in this E versus P H diagram. And we have already seen why the position of N i would be below this, why the position of N i plus plus would be above this. For example, if the if we consider the concentration what we can measure in the solution, let us say that is 10 to the minus 6 let us say this curve corresponds to the 10 to the power minus 6 concentration unit concentration. Okay. So, for N i plus plus. Now, if we have a concentration which is less than 10 to the minus 6, let us say 10 to the minus 8, if the concentration is 10 to the minus 8 of N i plus plus, then we cannot measure this. So, that in other way it means that if the concentration of N i plus plus is min 10 to the minus 8 unit in the solution, then actually it is basically saying no ionic formation, no ion formation 
or if it is no ion formation then it should remain as Ni. So, below this concentration everything would be Ni not Ni plus plus. So, that suggests that the concentration below this always would be Ni region because below that concentration we cannot anything. Now, let us say I consider the concentration to be 10 to the minus 2 unit which is basically saying that considerable amount of corrosion because corrosion means the ion formation from metal. So, considerable amount of corrosion is 10 to the minus 6 minus 2 below that it is not at all considerable amount of corrosion or we can say that if the corrosion is 10 to the if the concentration is less than 10 to the minus 2 we can say that the corrosion is not happening then below this concentration everything would be nickel. The concentration of nickel ion plus plus is having some value some finite value, but that is considered to be a negligible corrosion. So, we can say that below this line always would be N i. So, then what, what would be the position of N i plus plus? N i plus plus position would be always above this line and this line is coming because it is a pH independent because this is my equation and if this equation I would like to plot in E versus pH diagram then it would, should be a horizontal line parallel to the pH axis. Now, the second reaction we have started thinking that is another reaction which is N i plus 2 H 2 O going to N i O H whole 2 plus 2 H plus plus 2 E. Now, this reaction we can also consider in the form of reduction potential. If we consider it in the form of reduction potential, then we can write this equation instead of this let us write in the form of reduction potential in reduction process N i plus 2 H 2 O. Now, in for this reaction I can also express in the form of Nost equation and here I am putting at O x red because ox this is my ox and this is my reductant this is my oxidant this is my reductant. So, this should be equal to E 0 red plus here 2 electron is involved 2 electrons are involved. So, R T n f n is 2 2 f ln concentration of oxidant N i O H whole 2 concentration and concentration of H plus square because 2 hydrogen ion ions are involved in this reaction and then it would be concentration of N i and concentration of H 2 O whole square. Now, if you see this, this is precipitating out. So, the concentration I can consider it as 1, this is the pure substance. So, this is also 1, this is the pure metal 1. Now, we have to see what is the concentration of H plus ion in the medium. Now, this also we can express as E 0 ox red plus R T 2 F into 2. I am I am just taking 2 out L n H plus ion. So, this 2 2 is getting cancelled and then finally, I can write it as E 0 ox red plus I can plus now I am putting the value of R R is 8.313 314 T is 25 degree Celsius. So, which is 298 Kelvin and F is 96500 Coulomb per gram equivalent. So, it would come if you just put all those values it would come 0 0.059 into now instead of L n I put log H plus if I put log H plus sorry there is a small mistake. So, if I put log H plus and all the values I put are T and F and if I consider L n 
Now, if we consider L n h plus, then it would be 2.303 log h plus. So, if I put this formula, so 2.303 that factor also will come out. So, finally, we will get zero point zero five nine log h plus. Now, instead of that, let me put a minus sign here and then in the bracket I put another minus. So, it would be like this. Now, minus log h plus is nothing but p h. So, I can modify this entire equation and put it like this minus sign will come will remain 0 0.059 and then it would become p h. So, this is my relation. Now, you see if we would like to plot this equation let us say this is my equation number 1, this is my equation number 2. If I would like to plot this equation I need to know what is E 0 and I need to know the p h of the solution. And if you see this, there is a negative slope and the slope is 0 0.059. So, it should be something like this, this uh, line with a negative slope and the slope is 0 0.059, but if we would like to pinpoint that equation, we need to know what is this. So, how to find out this? This is the standard reduction potential for this reaction when the activities of those species should be 1. Now, that case I can find it out. Let me remove this part. I can find out now NiOH I know. So, del G 0 for this reaction del G 0 would be mu of the product mu 0 ni mu 0 ni plus 2 mu 0 h 2 o minus mu 0 ni o h whole 2 minus 2 mu 0 h plus. So, now let me put all those values mu 0 n i is 4 6 3 9 8 plus there should be a minus sign there is also be minus sign because mu 0 n i plus plus is nothing but minus 4 6 3 9 8 joule per mole then this should become 2 into 2 1 6 sorry this is 4 5 2 I am doing a mistake ok sorry. So, it would be 2 3 6 9 6 4 point 2 minus this is minus since this is a minus sign also this value is minus. So, it would become plus then 4 5 2 6 9 4 then here also this is already 0 we have considered convention is this is considered to be 0. So, now this is my what would be the final value final value it would become. So, let me calculate it this is 2 into 236.964.2 into 2 plus 46398 equal to minus 452694 64 minus 64 63 2.4 joule per
mole and this is nothing but minus n f e 0 and n is here is 2. So, then e 0 would be ox red would be equal to minus 6 4 6 3 2.4 there will be a minus sign by 2 into 9 6 5 0 0 if is 9 6 5 0 0 this should become 2 type in 6 5 0 0 just a minute let me see where I am making mistake sorry I made a mistake here because this is also 0 this is also 0. So, there should not be any value here. So, instead of that this value would change this value would become 2 into 2 3 6 9 6 4 point 2 minus 4 5 2 6 9 4 it should be 2 1 2 3 4 point 4. So, this should also change 2 1 2 3 4 point 4 divided by 2 divided by 9 6 5 0 0. So, it would be 0 0.11. So, this much vote. So, I can calculate E 0 for this reaction. So, the finally, I can replace this this E 0 because when I am considering E 0 considering the standard chemical potential of all the species for this reaction, then the activities of all the species also would become 1. So, there the activity of H plus ion would also become 1. So, pH would become 0. So, if pH becomes 0, so E ox by red equal to E 0 ox by red. Now, if I have a different pH value, so I will just put this value and with the pH. So, the final equation let me remove this. equation would become this equation I can modify I can write it like this. Now, I know the value 1 1 volt minus 0 0.059 pH. So, this is my equation number 2. So, this 2 equation is becoming now let me put it as 3 because from 2 I am getting this. So, now I am I can plot this on this. So, here this would be 0 0.11 if the pH is 0 here. If I consider pH to be 0 here, so my value of potential would become 0 0.11 because I have considered that this is my standard reduction potential when all the species activities of all the concentration of all the species become 1. Now, this is my line let me put a it in the form of green color. Let me put a dotted line. Dotted line. Now, this equation is basically telling the equilibrium between this species and this species. Now, you see here the species are H plus NiOH my whole 2 and Ni and H2O. So, this and this if you remove because these are basically the constituents of the water medium. Now, then this tells you the equilibrium between N i and N i O H whole 2. So, if it is between N i and N i O H whole 2, then we have to see where we are getting N i and N i O H whole 2. Now, this line is passing through two regions one is one Ni plus plus and another one is Ni. Now, but we have already seen that this is the equilibrium between Ni and Ni which hold to. So, in fact, this line will not have any existence because this line is going through Ni plus plus and which is not a part of this reaction. So, then the part of this reaction Ni and Ni which hold to so, then 
the part where the part of the line which goes through the ni region that should be existing so let me put a thick line in this region the other region because then this if this is ni the other part of course would be ni oh whole 2 the logic is this reaction tells you the equilibrium between ni and ni oh whole 2 so this line can exist in the region of ni not ni plus plus so that's why in the region of ni plus plus i am putting a dotted line and in the region of ni and ni oh whole 2 i am putting a solid line the solid line indicates that this line indicates the equilibrium between ni and ni oh whole 2 and this region is invisible because we cannot have any equilibrium between ni plus plus and ni oh whole 2 from this equation so now we can have a region of ni and ni whole 2 so then this part cannot exist because this part if i extend then ni is going into ni which whole 2 region which is not possible so left of this line should be ni right of this line should be ni which whole 2 now i know another reaction which is which is nothing but n i plus 2 plus 2 h 2 o going to n i o h whole 2 plus 2 h plus 2 h plus this is another reaction this is let us say third reaction and this reaction we have already seen that this is not a potential guided reaction because there is no electrons which are involved or you can say that this is not a reduction reaction not a reduction reaction. So, now this reaction if I would like to see the we can make use of all the thermodynamic data. Now, for this reaction I can calculate what is equilibrium constant at 25 degree Celsius because we have considered 25 degree Celsius in the beginning. So, that case this should be equal to del G 0 by R T with a minus sign because del G 0 equal to minus R T ln k. So, this is ln k. Now, for that I need to find out what is del G 0. So, del G 0 again I can find out which is nothing but the mu of n i o h whole 2 mu 0 plus mu 0 2 mu 0 h plus 0 minus mu 0 n i plus 2 minus 2 into mu 0 h 2 o. So, if you put all the values of these species this chemical potential standard chemical potential you would get this would be close to this should be close this would be you would see that the value would become I am not putting all the values I am straight away I am jumping one step. So, this should be 4 5 2 6 9 4 plus 4 6 3 9 8 plus 2 into 2 3 6 9 6 4 point 2 divided by 2 into sorry r r is 8.314 into 298 you would see that this value becomes close to minus 12.
So, this is becoming uh, minus 12 just a minute. So, this would become let me calculate. So, this is del G 0 would become 2 into 2 3 6 9 6 4 point 2 equal to plus 4 6 3 9 8 equal to minus 4 5 2 6 9 4 equal to 6 4 equal to 6 4 6 3 so, just let me put it by 8.314 by 298 equal to 27.297. There would be a minus sign, there would be plus sign because this is becoming plus. So, now ln k equal to this. Now, I can find out what is k log k log k would become divided by 2.303 equal to 11.85. Now, I will put a if I then this plus sign would become minus because I am putting log k now. So, this would become minus or it is close to 12 let me put 12. Now, k would become then this k would be then k is uh, so log k is 12. Now, let me remove this part. So, I can put k k is n i o h concentration of n i o h fall to h plus two log equal to minus twelve. Now this is one, this is also one. Now this equation would become log of h plus square n i plus plus would be equal to minus 12. Now, this would become p h equal to 6 minus 0 0.5 log ni plus plus. So, this is another equation. So, if you simplify it then you would become p h which is nothing but the log minus log h plus. If you take if you extend it then it would be 2 log h plus ion concentration minus ni plus plus log of ni plus plus then if you simplify it then it would become this is my another equation. Let me put it as equation number 4. This was the equation number 3, this is equation number 1. Now, this 4 I can also plot it here in this E versus p h diagram. Now, here you will see that this is p h in potential independent. So, if it is potential independent reaction then the line because also this indicates a straight line function and this is with the with, with, with and which is also dependent on the nickel ion concentration. Now, this line is considered when the nickel ion concentration is n i plus plus equal to 1. Now, also let me calculate this as a function of nickel ion concentration and when the nickel ion concentration is 1. Now, this is another line which should be vertical to this line and should be parallel to this line because this is pH dependent, but potential independent. So, this line would be something which should be going 
parallel to this line. So, let me put this line parallel to this line. This is my line for equation 4, but let me pinpoint this all the pH values. Now, if this is 1, so pH should be 6. So, this line should pass through a pH value which is 6. Fine. So, that means this line will come pH value when the pH is 6 and when nickel ion concentration is equal to 1. Now, we know that now we have to find out the equilibrium condition. So, that this line indicates the equilibrium between N i plus 2 and N i OH hole 2. It suggests that the line below this N i and N i plus plus line cannot have any existence, because this line indicates the equilibrium between N i OH hole 2 and N i plus plus below this line there is no existence of N i plus plus above this line there is existence of N i plus plus. So, below this line it would be dotted I am putting dotted because just to have reference where from it starts and above this line there it should be a thick line, because this indicates the equilibrium between N i plus plus and N i O H hole 2. And when the concentration of N i plus plus is 1. So, if it is 1 then this should pass through P H 6 and also this line should have a thick I should have a th I have drawn it in, in the form of thick, thick line and this line indicates the equilibrium between N i plus plus and N i O H hole 2. Now, point is I have connected these three lines at this point. We have to see that whether these three lines are connecting here or not. That means, when the pH is 6 and potential is minus 0 0.24 volt and let how to find out. Now, let me see whether this is a common point between this line and this line. That means, this is line number line number let me put it as 4 because corresponding to equation number 4. So, this and this equation number 1 E equal to 0 0.24 minus 0 0.24 plus minus and if the activity is 1 for this reaction for this reaction. So, it is basically plus R T 2 F L N L I plus plus ion. So, this is equation number 1 we have seen that this is equation number 1. Now, equation number 1 and equation number 4 if we solve it when the activity or the concentration of N i plus plus is 1. So, then E equal to 0 0.24 Just a minute. So, what is this? A minute. If we solve this, this is at pH six. What would be the value of E? At pH six, the value of E would always be what this much this is at pH 6 and N i plus plus concentration equal to 1. So, this point this point if we see the coordinates for this point this is 0 point this is 6 x is 6 and potential is 0 0.24. So, definitely this two point will meet at this point, if the nickel ion concentration is 1 provided this is nickel ion concentration is 1. So, we know that these two lines are merging here, 
find the nickel ion concentration is 1 and the pH 6. Now, let me see whether this line is passing through this point or not. For that, let me see the equation number 3. Equation number 3 says that this is 0 0.11 minus 0 0.059 pH. So, this is equation number 3. Now, if I solve equation number 1 and 3, then I would get at pH equal to 6, what would be the potential at pH, let us say when the activity of nickel is 1. So, then at pH 6 E equal to E equal to 0 0.11 minus 0 0.059 into 6 this equal to 0 0.11 0 0.059 into 6 plus 0 0.11 minus 0 0.11 equal to 0 0.244 volt minus which is close to 0 0.24 volt. So, that means, this when the pH is 6, this potential is also becoming close to 0 0.24. That means, this line as well as this line both are meeting at this point. So, this line and this line are meeting at this point. Now, we have to see whether this line and this line are meeting. So, solving equation number 3 and 4, you would see that again these two lines are cutting at this point. So, that means, this is the common point and now we know the complete picture of the diagram. Here we see that the position of N i plus plus is within this boundary, position of N i is within this boundary and position of N i O H hole 2 is within this boundary and each line indicates the equilibrium between the species that are existing on both side of that line. For example, this line indicates the equilibrium between N i and N i plus plus, this line indicates the equilibrium between N i plus plus and N i O H hole 2 and this line indicates the equilibrium between N i and N i O H hole 2. So, now we see the position of different species for a system uh, where nickel is reacting with H 2 O and forming different species. For example, nickel can form N i plus plus, nickel from nickel it can go to N i O H hole 2, even nickel O H plus plus, nickel plus plus it can go to nickel O H hole 2. Now, these three lines we can now remove all those things let me put all the three lines. This is line number, this is line number 4. Now, this is let us say I am putting star marks star then N i plus 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 2 e going to N i. This is line number 1 corresponding to the equation 1, then third one which is N i O H whole 2 plus 2 H plus plus 2 E going to N i plus 2 H 2 O. This is line number 3 corresponding to the equation number 3. Now, we can see the equilibrium this when we plot this equation in the form of line on E versus P H diagram, then that's, that line indicates the equilibrium between N i O H hole 2 and N i. So, this is that line, the rest of the line which is going into N i plus plus that would be invisible. I am putting it a dotted line just to indicate the reference from where it has originated. If the H is 1, then it should originate from if the pH is 0, 
or the activity of Ni H plus is 1, H plus concentration is 1, then this it should originate from 0.11 volt. Similarly, this line indicates the equilibrium between this NiOH hole to Ni plus plus and this line indicates the equilibrium between Ni plus plus and Ni. Now, also we have seen another reaction which is NiO plus H2O equal to NiOH hole 2. And if you see this, this is not a potential dependent reaction because this reaction you cannot express in the form of Norst equation. Similarly, the here we do not have any H plus ion. So, if there is no H plus ion, this is also potential pH independent. So, pH as well as potential independent reaction this. Now, from this we can have a very uh, the major outcome. What is that? Let me see this reaction. This reaction also we can have all those chemical potential data for NiO, H2O and NiOH hole 2. Then we can have the K value, the K value also we can calculate. So, K value we can calculate from this relation del G 0 by RT exponential minus this way we can find out the k value this is nothing but the k value and if you put all the values of this I think I have not given this potential chemical potential data for NiO. The chemical potential data for NiO is mu 0 NiO equal to minus 216762 joule per Kelvin the other data I have provided then you will see that this k is becoming 1. So, if k becomes 1, then k you can express in the form of concentration of NiOH hole 2, concentration of NiO and H2O. So, equal to 1, this is of course 1 because this is pure element. So, if we have a little bit of concentration and these are the precipitating phase, but we can always have little bit of dissolution of this phase and which is the dissolution of this phase in the solution H 2 O that can be dictated in the form of solubility data. So, then it tells you the concentration of NiOH fold 2 would be equal to concentration of NiO. So, this is one information. Similarly, I can also write this equation in this form NiO. plus 2 H plus plus 2 E equal to N i plus 2 H 2 O. So, I can also write in this form. Now, for this reaction if I would like to find out what is my relation between potential and pH, you will see that the relation would become E equal to 0 0.11 minus 0 0.059 pH. You just put all those values of mu 0, you will see the same sort of reaction. This is sorry here 1 H 2 O. So, if you calculate what is my standard reduction potential for this reaction, since this is a reduction process 
I will see that this value becomes 0 0.11. Similarly, it would be related to pH of the solution and the slope of that line would be 0 0.059. So, this equation let me put it as 5, this equation and for this reaction I know what is my relation E equal to 0 0.11 plus let me put it in white color for this equation E equal to 0 0.11 minus 0 0.059 pH. So, it actually whether you write this equation or this equation this indicates the same line because the equations are same this equation was number 3 it was given the number 3. So, this equation number 5 and equation number 3 both are exactly same. So, the line for this reaction or this reaction would be always same. Similarly, I know this relation. So, actually you can also write slash NiO slash NiO because this is equivalent to NiO as well as this reaction and this reaction both are almost equivalent because the reaction equation from the Norst equation you can see the both the equations are same. So, you can have either NiOH or NiO and then have this potential pH diagram or Porbex diagram for nickel system. So, this is I can have this relation, this relation, this relation, this as well as this. So, from that 5 relations I can have the complete Porbex diagram for nickel system, nickel H2O system. This is as nickel H2O system. There could be some complex ion formation at some different pH or potential values, but with the available equations what we have in our hand we can plot this. Now, once this is over then we are not this is not complete this Porbex diagram it just is telling you the different equilibrium between different ions or species, but this is not complete because we can also have uh, another four different types of reactions which involve H plus OH minus and H2O and also it involves dissolved oxygen if it is not deaerated, if it is aerated. So, let me put all other reactions now which involve only H2O, O2, H plus and OH minus ions. First let me put this relation first equation let us say H plus plus E equal to H2O half H2. For this reaction again this is potential dependent as well as pH dependent because this relation I can write it as E equal to E 0 which is nothing but 0 for hydrogen reaction minus I can write 0 0.059 pH because partial pressure of hydrogen in standard state is 1. So, if I consider the pressure of hydrogen is 1 atmosphere then I can write this relation. So, now you see this relation is nothing but a pH dependent as well as potential dependent because the potential is becoming 0 the standard reduction potential for E 0 is 0 volt. This we can also plot here. Now, when pH equal to 0 or the activity of or the activity of H plus ion in the solution is 1, then it should start from let us say 0 volt. When the pH is 0, so it should have the value 0 volt because pH then so sorry, sorry the potent active pH is 0 or the activity of H plus ion is 1, then this potential becomes 0 
Now, as p h is increasing, it will also increase as per this relation. So, it will also have a slope, this is my slope, let me put it is put it in blue color. Let me so this is my this is my let us say reaction number I have four let us say let me put it as five. So, reaction number I think I have already put the number here reaction number five. So, this is number five. and also it has a slope which is minus 0 0.059. Now, if you compare this line and this line both are parallel because here also the slope was this line for this line slope was 0 point minus 0 0.059. So, now this indicates this reaction H plus plus E half H 2. Now, I can also have another reaction which is which is 2 H 2 O plus 2 E equal to H 2 plus 2 H minus. This is another reaction that is possible in the system. Now, if you see this and if you see this it involves H plus ion. So, that means, it involves this reaction is possible in acidic media. Now, in this reaction you will see that this reaction is possible in basic medium or neutral medium depending on the pH of OH minus ion. So, if OH minus pH is 7 or more then this reaction is possible and this is possible when pH is equal to less than 7. So, that means, if this reaction is possible less than 7. So, this is happening in acidic media and if this is greater than C equal to 7 then this is happening in neutral or basic medium. Now, with the thermodynamic data that means, chemical potential data of H 2 O and O H minus we can also find out what is the standard reduction potential for this reduction process. So, this reduction process I can write it as Oaks oxidant and reductant is equal to E 0 reduction reductant plus now we involve 2 electrons. So, R T 2 F L n H 2 O square Now, since this is in the gaseous form, so P H 2 O H minus ion concentration square. Now, this is 1, this is 1 since this is considered to be in standard state because we would need to find out what would be the value of E 0. So, then and this is 1 atmosphere standard state it is 1 atmosphere and the pure substance the activity would be considered as 1. So, these two are 1. Now, we can have would be equal to E 0 plus R T. Now, since there are there is a square term if you take this square term out. So, then it would become minus and if you put all those values R T as well as F this 2 and this 2 would get cancelled and if you convert it in terms of log then you can see that 0 0.059 into log of OH minus. Log of OH minus concentration of log of OH minus. So, this is my relation. Now, I can 
replace this OH minus in the form of H plus. How would we do it that I would come in a while. Now, I can also find out what is the value of this. So, this value I can calculate from standard reduction potential standard chemical potential data again. So, this would become del G 0 equal to minus n f E 0. So, here n is 2 n is 2 f I know 96500 coulomb per gram equivalent now would be equal to. So, mu 0 h 2 plus mu 0 o h minus 2 because 2 o h minus ions are involved minus 2 mu 0 h 2 o fine. So, this is 0 this value I know this value is nothing but minus 1 5 7 1 4 7 point 1 plus 2 into 2 1 6 sorry 2 3 6 9 4 6 point 2. So, from that you can find out E 0, E 0 would be then since there is a positive sign. So, E 0 would be minus. So, minus minus 2 into 2 3 6 9 4 6 point 2 minus 1 5 7 1 4 7 point 1 equal to so, this is 316745.2 by 2 into 96500 equal to by 2 96500 to 1.641. Sorry, there should be 2 sign here 2 into because here we involve 2 things. So, I think I have made a mistake. So, 2 into 2 just a minute 2 3 6 9 4 6 point 2 minus 157 1 4 7 point 7 equal to into 2 divided by 2 divided by 9 6 5 0 0 to 1 point this should be 1 point 1 0 6 1 0 7 let me put 0 7. So, this is my E 0. So, now once you find E 0, so it would be 1 point it should be minus sign because there is a minus sign minus 1.1 1 .1, let me put 1.1 1 .1, minus 0 0.059 log of OH minus. Okay. 